after years of uh, let's say stagnation in in, in the treatment uh, of uh, colangio now the future uh, seems uh, brighter uh, we have the first uh, positive trial with immunotherapy and uh, in combination with chemotherapy and uh, we are um, improving our knowledge about the disease and we know um, that there are molecular alterations that can be targeted now we have in clinical practice um, in the us uh, pemigatinib and infigratinib for patients with FGFR2 uh, gene fusions and ivocidinib for patients with IDH mutations and the combination of uh, BRAF uh, inhibitor and MEK inhibitor, dabrafenib, tramentinib for patients with uh, uh, BRAF uh, mutation. In Europe, we have uh, pemigatinib for patients with FGFR2 gene fusion and uh, we will hope to have the other drugs uh, in, in the near future. And uh, um, we have uh, drugs uh, that have been approved based on the genomic uh, genetic alterations uh, with regard of the tumor types like um, pembrolizumab for MSI high tumors or entrectinib and larotrectinib for entrac uh, for patients for patients with uh, tumors with uh, um, entrac gene fusion. So I think in, in the future uh, th there are several ongoing trials that are testing, for instance, uh, the FGFR inhibitors, pemigatinib, infigratinib, futibatinib in first line versus chemotherapy. So if these uh, trials will be positive. Some patients uh, um, in the future um, will be treated with a, a targeted agent without chemotherapy. So this will be an improvement in their prognosis and their quality of life. So I think in, in the future, we will have uh, uh, more treatment options for our patients uh, and uh, we will be able to improve the prognosis of our patients.